Well, I guess this is breaking news. <laughs> we just got this uh, from Ram about their new Eco Diesel for 2020. It's been gone for a while. You know, they had their problems with the EPA, kind of like Volkswagen and a few other people. And now this third generation Eco Diesel, we think they've got it all figured out. At least if we come in the market at uh, the end of this year, the last quarter, you'll be able to buy this rascal. And this means that all three of Detroit's truck manufacturers have a diesel in their half-ton class. And that was something we wanted a long time ago, and it never came. And so finally, finally here we are with three diesels. Mr. Truck here with another exciting trailer accessory review. This one's for your gooseneck trailer. It's from Gen Y Hitches. It's called the Cushion Surge Coupler. Portion Flex. So it's kind of like a torsion axle on a, on a tra horse trailer. And that, inside here are those torsions. And so as this thing flexes, those will move up and down. And why hitches? All you have to do is look at them. They're built like a bulldozer. It's all heavy duty plate metal. Make them adjustable hitches, pencil hitches, shock absorbing hitches with torsion, like a torsion axle on a horse trailer. These things will last you forever. You cannot find a better built adjustable hitch. In our new third generation uh, eco diesel engine, we wanted to further improve uh, the engine torque up to 480 uh, pounds per feet. Uh, it's about 14% more than current engine. We also achieved an improved uh, engine power about uh, 260 HP, about it's 8% uh, more than current engine. And it was almost all achieved uh, with the improved fuel economy. We had to completely redesign the combustion system. In particular, we had to redesign the intake parts, we had to redesign the piston, the combustion chamber, and the fuel system, uh, all uh, aimed to further improve the fuel economy and reduce uh, emission. There is also a new turbocharger, new generation turbocharger implemented with a much more efficient variable geometry, uh, capable to improve the engine responsiveness uh, and uh, improve the fun to drive experience for the final driver. We wanted to further improve the system and we implemented a low pressure EGR gas recirculation system in addition to the existing high pressure EGR. This uh, system draws the gas directly after the DPF, the diesel particular filter, and this leads to a much more efficient way of drawing gases, uh, and at the end leads to an improved fuel economy and uh, emissions. We wanted to design an engine with much, much higher torque, uh, better power, and improved uh, fuel economy. The MVH was also improved uh, to improve the experience of every Ram 1500 owner. So, we've got good choices here. Um, this one should end those, the third generation uh, Eco Diesel should end those problems with the EPA. We don't have any mile per gallon ratings yet. That'll come out later too. Um, I've got several friends with that first and second generation Eco Diesel. And majority of them getting 30 miles a gallon. They're tickled to death. I mean, there's been a few problems along the way. But uh, we'll see now if, if, diesel, if Ram's Eco Diesel takes the lead. You know, they were the only one out there for a long time, and uh, people missed them, and now they're back. So we'll see if the MPG on this from the EPA is going to be higher than what uh, the new uh, Silverado, the new GM 1500, that has that 3-liter inline 6. And uh, that one is rated at 33 miles per gallon on a two-wheel drive. So that's what that is. So we'll see if the Eco Diesel can beat 33 on a two-wheel drive. So that's uh, that's what's happening there. The, um, now the new Ram, it is called 2020, and that 3-liter V6 is an 8-speed. It's 260 horsepower, 480 pound-feet of torque. Now you compare that to the Duramax, the 2020, uh, that's coming out. It's an inline 6 3-liter, and it's a 10-speed with 277 horsepower, so that's class leading horsepower where the Ram looks to be horse or uh, class leading torque at 480. 
and the uh, Duramax and the, uh, the Silverado is 460 ping foot pounds of torque. Now the Ford, it is 250 horsepower and 440 torque. So uh, and that's with that 3 liter V6 and a 10 speed. And it is actually rated in a two-wheel drive at 30 miles per gallon. So right now the Duramax leads the MPG uh, race until we hear more from what's going on with, with Ram. Now it's supposed to be 80% of the engine is all new parts. Uh, you know, it, it gets a full torque to 480 at 1600 RPM. So it's like a good diesel where it starts off with power right off the bat. Uh, now they're saying in here that it's got a, uh, a high and a low pressure EGR cooler and there when one sheet I have here said that they thought that was best in class well as I remember when we talked about the three that are in line six Duramax from GM it also had a high and low EGR cooler so I'm not sure how to sort through that but on this 2020 1500 with the diesel you'll be able to get those barn doors on the back that we all have been talking about where you can open them sideways and fold them all over the place everybody wants to have a special tailgate and this has dual exhaust, so it looks cool. It'll look from the back, it looks almost like a Hemi. And uh, the towing on this, on the base truck, is class leading for the diesels. It's 12,560, where Ford comes in 11,500, and new GM is 9,300. Payload maximum on this new Eco Diesel is 2,040. So we're, we've got all that behind us. And the new one is available in the Rebel. It looks like it's available just about every half ton out there in the, in the Ram line uh, with quad cab, full, you know, uh, full crew cab, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, uh, the Rebel, the, uh, the base truck, the work truck, uh, all that is available with this new diesel. And you got a choice of fuel tanks, looks like a 26 and a 33. 33 might be, of course, the longest framed one, would have the 33 gallon tank. Which I'm glad to see. You need all the fuel you can get in these. But it looks like the base price on the Eco Diesel um, is going to be 36890 Destination charge to get it to you is 1695 Now, of course, they've changed a lot of things. As the 8-speed, they've done some extra configuration there, so it's a little different. Of course, you can get the air ride or the coil springs on that. Um, Let's see, the, the diesel itself is a $4,995 option, which makes it $3,000 over the 5.7 Hemi. Um, and the Tradesman, it's a little higher, it's $3,300. Tradesman's is their work truck. And they have the Bighorn, Lone Star, Rebel, Laramie, all, a lot of different, I think all their configurations actually are available with the Eco Diesel. Let's see, the crew cab starts at... 39,140 so that jumps up over you know, the quad cab um, most a lot of this information we won't get to the fourth quarter but um, it's a water cool water cooled turbocharger variable geometry of course and uh, redesigned intake ports looks like they're a little square notched the way it looked to me the high pressure EGR with coolant exhaust gas is drawn down from the exhaust manifold is augmented with low pressure EGR that draws exhaust gases after the exit, the diesel particulate filter. And addition of the cooler low pressure exhaust makes a significant contribution to improved fuel mileage and lowers the uh, oxides of nitrogen. Pressure ratio drops a little bit for the emissions from 16.5 to 1 to 16 to 1. Uh, they've redesigned the high pressure direct injection fuel nozzles. It was up to 29,000 psi at 2,000 bar. Combustion chamber geometry optimizes for fuel, and fuel economy. Redesigned aluminum alloy pistons improve fuel mileage. They also got a thinner piston rings in the coating on the side skirts to reduce friction. And the piston pin is offset by uh, 0.3 degrees from the center line. That reduces the piston slap against the cylinder and of course makes it quieter. Lower portion of the two-piece oil sump uses a sandwiched polymer metal material to reduce uh, the noise. Selective catalytic reduction is 50% larger and incorporates a new generation diesel oxidation catalyst with the diesel exhaust fluid system to reduce the NOx. Uh, new generation uh, brake system is a dual vacuum pump with low friction blades contributes to improved fuel economy. 
So they work on everything, not just, you know, the engine. They work on, you know, basically the, now they're talking about the the brake system and they'll be talking about tires, all these different things that they're using. And, you know, making the engine a little bit lighter anytime they can reduce weight helps fuel economy. Let's see, the V6 uses the dual overhead cam, cam dual overhead camshafts, four valves per cylinder, six degree angle. The block is a compacted graphite iron, which is going to be the thing for diesels. Uh, that, that helps with vibration. Of course, it weighs less. Um, it says a compacted graphite iron bed plate adds fragility to the block. The Eco Diesel V6 got forged steel crankshafts, connecting rods for strength. The aluminum alloy pistons are cooled with an underside via oil jets. Um, that's going to be the common thing too in diesels, having those jets in the bottom side of the piston and lubricate and cool things off. Heat treated aluminum head cylinder heads. So this isn't, you know, the heads are aluminum. Chain driven overhead camshafts. Uh, so <laughs> that's all good. And it says here, it, it says it's produced in Ferrara, Italy. And then on, you know, one of the other pages, it said that it's built in Sterling Heights assembly plant in Sterling Heights, Michigan. So I guess it's built there and it's produced in Italy. I must be, that's where the design came from. So that's a little bit on the confusing side, but oh well. So that's the news about this new diesel. Um, it sounds interesting. We're we'll glad to be happy to. Actually, I'd love to drive these things and pull trailers with them, see how they do, you know, up and down our mountains here in Colorado. But I suppose that's coming. Uh, sometime this fall, we should have a drive where we can go out there and, and do a few of them, or I can get one for a week like I normally do and take it to the mountains with some trailers, let Kelsey drive it, because she's got. Uh, probably a second generation eco diesel and she loves it. We did a video with her and her dirt truck. And so, you know, there's a lot of fans out there been waiting for this new truck engine from Ram to come out, the new diesel half ton. And now we have all three of these. So there's a lot of competition, so it'll be interesting to compare them. And a lot of people will be doing that. We'll be doing that. So this is just the first part of the story. And hopefully next time we talk about it, we'll be driving them. So come join us.